Iowa DOT snowplow drivers are enjoying some much-deserved downtime after last week's snowstorm was all hands on deck. High winds and blowing snow created dangerous conditions on the road, and the organization says they were prepared. We did see it coming. We have great partners in the National Weather Service um, in all of the surrounding states, not just in Iowa, so we saw it coming from South Dakota, from Nebraska. Most notably from the storm, the DOT was forced to close down I-35 from Ames to Clear Lake. It was a tough decision, but they say their choice may have saved many lives. We got the interstate shut down in time to be able to open it much more quickly because we didn't have a lot of cars backed up. And central Iowa residents commend DOT workers for their efforts on the roads, some saying they were proactive in their response. Days before, they were out and about getting the roads ready for this storm coming through, so I had faith in them that they were going to take care of it. People just need to give the snow plows time and uh, give them room to do what they need to do. Uh, don't crowd them. Um, they're out there to do a job and that's to keep public safe. Now it's all about planning for next time, and the DOT says that means explaining their decisions. When they reopened one lane of I-35 and not the other, many people had questions, so they want to make sure the public is clear about their choices. We're going to be try to be a lot more clear in our messaging as to what's open and where it's open and um, an expectation of how long it's going to remain closed. A few snow plows and snow blowers were damaged in the storm. Mechanics have been working on getting those ready for the next time they'll be out. The DOT says any feedback from the public on their efforts can be shared on their social media pages.